Hey everybody. Sorry about the wobbly camera. I'm squatting down here trying to get this without any glare on it. My little dwarf frog here is out hunting. I threw some uh, blood worms in the tank earlier and they always fall to the bottom and they get in all the little nooks and crannies which is the point and it allows these bottom dwelling animals especially these frogs uh, which don't have very good sight or senses so it's important that there's plentiful food that in a lot of ways only they can get to or basically you've got to be a real scrounging bottom foraging type animal to find uh, the little bits of food that these frogs find so what it does is it just kind of crawls around sort of snooping around looking for stuff and when it finds one of those little worms it kind of bunches itself up and gets ready and then shoots out and opens its mouth and sucks it in all in one shot and that's how it gets its food so they're interesting little animals I really enjoy having them in a tank they are fully aquatic they don't need Uh, any land to get out on. I'm trying to see if we can get a better angle on him here. Try coming around here, but as I thought, there's going to be a bunch of green growth over there. There we go. He's coming back out. So they don't need any land to get out on. They don't need any mud to burrow into or anything like that. They are fully aquatic. But they do have special needs. Did you see how he just sort of shot out there for a second? That was him actually darting out and grabbing a little bite of food. And I don't know if they're really active nocturnally. See, he must have found some worms over there that drifted into that little corner. But as of very recently, I still had at least one sculpin in this tank, which likewise is an animal that uh, eats off the bottom and will root around in the nooks and crannies like this rather than uh, all my other fish that can readily get their food from, you know, just pecking it off the bottom or off the surface or anywhere in between. So when you've got a frog like this, you definitely need to make sure you provide the right kind of food that it'll eat. The worms are good at least a few times a week, but it does eat flake food. I've seen it eat shrimp pellets. If you crumble up algae wafers into small enough pieces, uh, it will eat algae wafers. And that, of course, was the frog going up to the surface to get a little breath of air. As I've mentioned before in other videos, these are amphibians. They're not fish they do need to get to the surface to breathe air and they can hold their breath for a considerable amount of time I would imagine they do exchange some gases through their skin being an amphibian you know that's pretty much what they do but they can't breathe underwater they don't have gills There's my little dumbo guppy of course as soon as I backed the camera up to get a look at it it swam away but it was right down in front of us they do not have gills. They can't actually breathe underwater. So they do have to be able to get to the surface. So that means, speaking of the devil, there's my little sculpin right there. i have to wait and see if his head doesn't, or uh, he doesn't come out. All I can see is his head right now. So with the frogs needing to get to the surface, they do need a tank that's not too deep. I'm not sure how deep this tank is, but it's probably at least 16 inches, I want to say. And I've seen it written that these frogs really shouldn't be in any tanks deeper than about 10 inches. But I've never really had any problem with them in up to maybe 18 inches of water. But I also have... Uh, plenty of stuff for them to stand on and rest on and they can sit up near the surface so they don't have to expend a lot of energy uh, climbing up and down all the time. If you've got a fairly empty tank where they're going to be forced to go from the bottom all the way up to the top and then all the way back down to the bottom all the time, 
then maybe you might want to consider a slightly less deep tank. That, of course, back there was my white sucker fish that's getting really big in this tank and really needs to probably move on out of here. I'm still waiting for that sculpin to do something. It's sitting right there. And now I've actually lost the frog. Oh, there he is. He's back behind that pup fish. So that's about all I can think of. And my knees are about to give out if I stay squatted down any longer. So the frogs are really interesting little animals. I definitely recommend them. But remember, they are frogs. They're not fish. They do need to be able to get to the surface to breathe. And they do have sort of specialized kind of dietary needs. They don't see and hunt very well. So you got to make sure plenty of stuff gets down to the bottom. Uh, for them to eat and you got to make sure it's the kind of stuff uh, they want to eat. I also put freeze-dried krill in the tank and I crumble that up and once that gets a little bit soggy it usually sinks to the bottom and I'm sure I've seen that frog gobbling up pieces of that too. So like most frogs and toads they'll eat a lot of stuff, a lot of variety, uh, they just have to be able to get it and as I've said several times now they're not very good hunters so make sure it gets to the bottom for them. So there you go, thanks for watching my impromptu little video about my frog hope you enjoyed it don't forget this one here is my waterfall tank i'll see you real soon in the next one